Okay, so we're here at the App Store, and we're going to go ahead and start with Edu Creations. So I'm going to open up Edu Creations. You're going to see a bunch of different interactive whiteboards within the App Store when you search for each of these. Now, I'm not going to say that you should use one or the other. I just wanted to show you three interactive whiteboards that I think are the easiest to use and the most beneficial to student learning. So let's start with Edu Creations. Now, with any new app, they're going to give you a tour and a quick how-to guide. You're more than welcome to go through that. Um, I'm going to show you pretty much everything and more from that tour. So let's go ahead and get started. With any free app, there always is going to be some limitations. So as we go through these, we'll make note of those limitations and then move forward with that. With Edu Creations at the top here, these are all of your colors that you can draw with the pen. Uh, you can change the colors that are up here in the palette. So you just double click this and I can change that color that is up here in the palette. And then you can start writing in your information. If you need to erase it, you've got the eraser. You've also got the undo button. Now, if you hit this plus button right here, you can add any text here with the free account. So if you want to write your text information here, if you go back to this plus button, you can add an image or you can take a picture. This pointer finger will allow you to drag information around. And if you want to move something to a certain spot, you can drag that information there. If you hit this card button with a plus on there, what that'll do is that'll duplicate this page. If you want to make more than one page for a lesson or for a specific topic, you can just duplicate this page and just continue to go. So you have that option of duplicating the page with the ink that you put on there or duplicating just the page. If you click this other icon in the upper right hand corner, you can choose different backgrounds, whether a line paper, graph paper, if you're using math, all those different options. Now say that you want to add a picture from say Google. Right now in my science class, we're studying volcanoes. So I'm gonna look up a volcano diagram, a blank diagram. And I'm going to save that image to my camera roll. And I'm going to go back to Edu Creations. I'm going to hit this plus button to add this image. It's going to ask to allow access to your photos. So you request access and then you hit the OK button. And I can now add this diagram to my Edu Creations. I've got all these options. If I tap the image, I can rotate it, duplicate it fit the height and fit the width, so that just changes the size of it. You can always hit that redo button. I'm going to erase this text right here. Whenever you want to tap an image and edit that image, make sure you're hitting the pointer finger. And I can reverse pinch to change the size of it. And then you can edit this text. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you want to make a screen recording, you just hit this record button in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to make a like a two second video here just to show you how to share this out with your students. So I'm going to record it. This would be your recording. You hit the pause button. When you are completed with your recording, you hit the share button and you hit save finished video. You title the lesson. So this would be volcanoes in my case. And you gotta add a description. You have the choice of either making this a published or private. I'm gonna make it a published. That means that other people can search this. You can create a subject area, science, a grade level. We'll say fourth, just for now. You hit save. Now it's gonna ask you to log in. This will help you share your lessons. This is where you can view your lessons online. That is one way that you will sign up so that you can utilize their servers and you can share out your videos. Or you can just hit skip. Now this is the area where all of your lessons will be located. Now if you tap on that video that you just created, you can view the video. You can also share that video by hitting the share button in the upper right hand corner. But you can't do that until you sign in or log in for the first time to Edu Creations. So let's hit the done button and go back to the main screen and we will sign in. So before you do any of this, you're going to want to sign up. 
It's going to ask you whether you're a teacher or a student. You create your first name, last name, all that good stuff. Or you can sign in using Google. I already have an account, so I'm going to ask you to go ahead and create your own account right now. Now after you sign in, it's going to ask you to join your school and find your school. You don't have to do that, but it's totally up to you. So now that I'm signed in, I can now save this video, or I can copy the link. I now copied a link to my video, and I can now paste that link anywhere. Now you can't save that video unless you have the pro account. But that is how you're going to create your screencast, create your videos to share out with your students. Once you're in this lesson area, if you click this group icon right here, this is where you can create a class. You're going to create a class name, description. This is going to be pretty similar to some other things. I don't ever really use this, but if you want to create a class, you're more than certainly welcome to. It's easy to do. This is your favorite section right here where once you find lessons that you want to share because there is a large community of people that are using EduCreations and you can search these lessons, this is where your favorites would be. This would be where your recent lessons are. And then this is where you could find, clicking the star button, this is where you can find different lessons that you can share out with your students. So they have them in all different categories. This one right here is on fractions. You then can open up that lesson and then you can share this lesson out with your students. I would just copy the link and then I would post it to my learning management system, whether it's Google Classroom, Canvas, or some other learning management system that you are using. If you want to save this, you hit that heart button. But this is where all of those lessons that everyone has uploaded to EduCreations is located. So that is the basics of EduCreations. Your settings is right here. You can upgrade to that pro account. Remember, uh, you have a total storage space of only 50 megabytes to use, so you're going to have to delete those as you continue. That's what I typically will do. So you only have a certain amount of storage space until you get that paid account. So remember, this is your kind of home screen here. If you want to create a new EduCreations, you just hit that plus button in the upper left hand corner. So that is the basics of EduCreations. It's pretty easy to use. It's got some limitations until you get that paid account, but it certainly is something that you can use in the classroom or you can have your students use in the classroom to create all kinds of different lessons where they can explain different content, problems, ideas. The possibilities really are endless with these interactive whiteboards. All right, we're going to move on to the next two interactive whiteboard apps.